five. Got him, brother of mine. Well done, Flam. We're at top of activity. Yeah! Come on, Rainbow Dash. Keep grinding. We don't have time for quality control if we want to win this thing. Get back, you. One bad apple spoils that much. Applejack, help me. There's no point in winning if we cheat. We'll just have to work harder. Come on, every pony. All right, then. Double time! Jack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that will always be rewarded. Flim and Flam win! What? We lost? Aw, oh, too bad, Apples. Guess you'll just have to find a new line of work that doesn't match your names quite so perfectly. Now, should we tear down all these tacky old buildings and put up new ones, brother? I don't see why not, brother. After all, this isn't Sweet Apple Acres anymore. How about Flim Flam Fields? I ought to press you into jerk sight! No, Rainbow Dash. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Congratulations to y'all. The cider business in Ponyville is yours. Come on, Apples. Let's go pack up our things. Fear not, every pony. There's more than enough cider to go around. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, every pony. Go on, y'all. It's okay. Drink up, Ponyville! Down the hat! Hey, can't get the taste off my tongue! Mine's got rocks in it. I wouldn't pay one cent for this drip. You wouldn't pay even one cent? No! How about two cups for one cent? No! Two bits for the barrel? <laughs> it looks like we've encountered a slight problem here in Ponyville. No pony wants our product. Next town. Next town. Let's go, Flam. Let's go, Flam. We're gone. That means Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. Plus, we can have high-quality Apple Family Cider. Because of this silly competition, we've made enough of our cider for the whole town. Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to share my thoughts with you. <clears throat> I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. If you take your time to do things the right way, your work will speak for itself. Sure, I could tell you I learned something about how my friends are always there to help me, and I can count on them no matter what. But truth is, I knew that already, too. This was my mess in my house. And now I have to start from scratch. But I, I thought it would make you happy. Happy? Happy? I... I just need some time alone. Hmm. How's the sleepover rarities going? Why, it's smashing. Huh? I just wish we could do something special together that didn't include me goofing anything up. Oh, the sisterhood social. Applejack and I do it every year. You and Rarity can compete against other sister teams in all these neat events. <gasps> that sounds like the perfect way for us to hang out. Rarity will think it's an excellent idea. What a ridiculous idea. A contest at 
sweet apple acres. It doesn't sound very clean. So what? Now you're back to hating messes? Sweetie Belle, watch your tone. I am still your big sister. Right. And any sister who cares about her sister goes. Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well, then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sister of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, hun, sister. Sisterhood Social was on coop? Yeah, on coop. <coughs> Wait, what's on coop? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm on coop. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's on coop. What's on coop? It means uncivil, you know, bad mannered. <coughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. to do chores together. Mm. Oh, that work ruined. Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. I do! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions. Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't... <clears throat> well, no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Help! Help! Looks like my sky swim will have to wait. I'm Rainbow Dash, and I'm here to rescue you! Yeah! Wow, what's with this crowd? Uh, thanks, every pony. It was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is something. Something special. Words, and I bet modest is not one of them. No, I 
but she is kinda awesome. Thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right. Silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name. Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack. How would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! a ghost! Bloom, you have to look sick. <laughs> ah! Hey, <laughs> ha! What in the haze heat is going on in there, silly Billy? <laughs> oh, Granny Smith, we were just about to come get you. <laughs> Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Now what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! That's the fourth sign! <laughs> Appreciation Day, so let's move Harvest Day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zap apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Any other bright ideas? Granny Smith, it's Miss Cheerily. Apple Bloom said you wanted to speak with me. Hello, Granny Smith. Well, hello there. How do you do? Uh, hi, uh, Granny Smith. Is uh, everything okay? Of course it is. Why would it be? <laughs> Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, pickles always give me the hiccups. I need to tell you that I can't make the presentation on Monday after all. Oh, no. Is that so? No doubts about it. Well, I gotta share the flowers and water the sheep. I mean, uh, I have to water the flowers and share the sheep. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too bad. 
We can reschedule. to Family Appreciation Day? Fiddlesticks! I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in Canterlot. But <laughs> didn't you just say, See you Monday! Hmm. I can't believe she woke up from her nap. She never wakes up from her nap. I wish I could just run off and hide. Well, you can't run off. But maybe some pony else can. A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> maybe even thousands. <gasps> of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash Show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash Show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair. Hey, yes! <laughs> the Hearts Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered, until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribes' precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the visit became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. <sighs> us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you? I'm 
like you pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come of fun. all you can do, huh? competition, so I'm going to have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have. But seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway... You're all outstanding competitors. But there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me through Ghastly Gorge. Dun dun dun! Kazunite. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. I've flown through it a million times myself, so obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! You. Well, I want to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried. 
worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave Will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So? What do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but... To be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks anyway. Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy! Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary? Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing to gobble up ponies in one quick swing. Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by, so if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year! Oh, uh, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two. So she won't return to come eat you!
have graced your tiny village with our presence so that you might behold the real princess of the night. A creature of nightmares no longer, but instead a pony who desires your love and admiration. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast! Did you hear that, everybody? Nightmare Moon says she's gonna feast on us all! What? No, children, no! You no longer have reason to fear us. Screams of delight is what your princess desires, not screams of terror. Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> What is the matter with you? Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. I'm gonna go talk to her. Ugh, you can't talk to her. She's Nightmare Moon. No, she's not. I saw the elements of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! Beats me. Rise! Get back! All of you! This is my book, and I'm gonna read it! <gasps> the elements! Discord and put everything back to normal. See, girls? We did it! We found the elements of harmony! Together! <sighs> you don't even care, do you? No! Oh, I never thought it would happen. My friends have turned into complete jerks! <laughs> necklace, 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 and big crown thingy! Come on, every pony, let's go! But Twilight, aren't you missing some pony? Nope. We got the liar, the grump, the hoarder, and the brute. That just about covers it. What about Rainbow Dash? Congratulations, Spike. You're the new Rainbow Dash. Now let's go! Me? But, but, but what if she finds out I've been impersonating her? Ugh, that won't end well. Too bad. You're Rainbow Dash. Now let's go defeat Discord so we don't ever have to talk to each other again. Yeah! yeah! Woo <laughs> Move! Look out! Here comes Tom! Well, 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 I see you found the elements of harmony. How terrifying! Discord, I figured out your lame riddle. You're in for it now! I certainly am. You've clearly outdueled me, and now it's time to meet my fate. I'm prepared to be defeated now, ladies. Fire when ready. Formation, now! Uh, Rainbow Dash, get over here! <clears throat> All right, let's get this over with. There must be something wrong with yours. I hate the elements of harmony. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Sorry, Twilight. 
I guess I better get back upstairs and clean up the library. Good luck with all this. No! Oops. Sorry, Rainbow Crash. <laughs> bravo, ponies. Bravo. Harmony in Equestria is officially dead. Discord rules Celestia drools. <laughs> Are you talking to? Any of you! All of you! I'm out of here! I better go too. I got new, better friends waiting for me at the farm. Yeah, I'm sick of you losers. Fine, leave. See if I care. I don't need you guys either. With friends like you, who needs enemies? <laughs> what I just did. Pie. I thought you appreciated a good laugh. It's different. They're laughing at me. It's hardly different. Your friends laugh at you all the time. My friends laugh with me, not at me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh? Pinkie? What do you suppose has her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinkie. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> oh my. Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. <laughs> no, no. I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. Must get to the center to mate the others. <laughs> Forever, but it was worth it. Who knew three little gemstones would turn out to be this handsome hunk of a diamond? Now to get you home. Rarity, are we glad to see? Why are you carrying a humongous boulder? What do you mean, boulder? This big, beautiful, bedazzling rock is a diamond! And it's all mine. Keep your envious little eyes off it! I found it and it's mine, fair and square! Okay, I can do this. I can... No! Oh, wait a minute! Butterflies? Fluttershy, 
It looks like you've been left behind by your so-called friends, huh? Oh, no. I'm certain they're doing their best to find me. Well, it must be so upsetting to know how weak and helpless they think you are. Not at all. I am weak and helpless, and I appreciate their understanding. Yes, well, sure, it burns you up. I mean, that they're always pointing out your flaws, right? Not really. In fact, I think I'm awfully lucky to have friends who want me to be the best I can be. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel! Everything okay in there? Who needs a diaper change? Don't worry, they're fine! Oh, I mean... Oh, <laughs> I've got it. Is any pony hungry? Uh, no thanks. I just had a big breakfast. I'm on it. Oh, 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 you're making funny faces. I have one. <laughs> no, you see, Pinky, the babies need to be burnt. Things, pumpkin cake. Except food. Beans, <gasps> great cinnamon sticks. I completely forgot. No, you just fed him bottles, remember? Not the baby's food. <gasps> the food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today. Oh, with the new twins, we've been so distracted. <gasps> Quick, honey bun. We need to find a babysitter to watch the foals while we take care of this. I can do it. I want to do it. Oh, the babies love playing with me. I'll do it. Wonder who would be available on such short notice? Me! Me! Take me! Oh, I would love to babysit. But I can't today, sorry. I promised Angel we'd go on a picnic. You understand, don't you? You're not mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me! I'll do it! Pick me! I have to finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. I want to babysit! Pick me! Babysit? Now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on. <laughs> to the Wonderbolts air show this afternoon. Got a dash. Ask me. Me, 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 me. Moi, babysit. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I am flattered that you would think about me, though. Pinkie Pie, how would you like to babysit for us? <gasps> I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. <laughs> now, Pinkie, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible. Why, responsibility is my middle name. Pinkie Responsibility Pie. <laughs> but this time, you need to take care of them, not just play with them. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am. Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsi... Consider it done. We'll frost it when we get there. Come on, sugar plum. Tick, tick. Tick. 
Miss Cheerilee. Has come to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Yep. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yep. Do you think it just wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could. Oh! Oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about Hearts and Hooves Day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? Did you say a love potion? That's right, it even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do ya? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a pegasus feather. Hey! Not slow. Surf to do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We need punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together to test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sun pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it. They're drinking it. <laughs> they're looking into each other's eyes. <laughs> they're, they're about, about to, to be in, in for a big surprise. Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sun pony? Yup. Yes! He's a special sun pony. She's a special sun pony. He's my special sun pony. <laughs> yup. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty smarty smoochy woochy baby weedy. Doctor, 
She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. Uh, how long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. <gasps> Just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! Quest for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous, fierce, and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. As Daring Do trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the raid wasn't a total waste after all. <laughs> oh, yes! Nice going, Spike. 
Well, what are you waiting for, Spike? Smash it! Smash the egg? Yeah! Yeah! Throw it on the ground as hard as you can! Yeah! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! No! It's just a defenseless egg! Like I was! And I'm not gonna let you hurt it. What did you say? I said no. No one says no to me. No pony's gonna lay a claw on him. That's right. Fighting's not really my thing. I'm more into fashion. But I'll rip you to pieces if you touch one scale on his cute little head. <laughs> Ooh, scary! <laughs> Spike, are these Namby Pamby ponies your friends? Yes, they are, and they're better friends than you could ever be. Now, if you don't back off, you'll see what us ponies do when confronted by a huge group of jerky dragons. Oh yeah? <sighs> What's that? Run away! <laughs> <laughs> one. Thanks, you guys. Of course. What are friends for? You're more than friends. You're my family. <coughs> Dear Princess Celestia, seeing the great dragon migration made me wonder what it meant to be a dragon. But now I realize that who I am is not the same as what I am. I may have been born a dragon, but Equestria and my pony friends have taught me how to be kind, loyal, and true, I'm proud to call Ponyville my home and to have my pony friends as my family. Yours truly, Spike. <laughs> hey, welcome to the family, Pee-wee. Stick with me. I've got plenty to teach you about being a pony. <laughs> 